Jimmy, folks who switch to zombies sure are happy. How happy are they, Rage? I'd say they're happier than an Amishman in a field full of garden hose. Welcome to the M1911. Hello, I'm Raging Amish, and welcome to the M1911 in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Ever since World at War, the Treyarch developers have certainly experimented with many things. The arsenal of weaponry grows with every map release. New perks find their way into the maps with each DLC, and the zombies are forever changing and evolving. Some traditions have remained forever true, though, and that's where the M1911 comes to mind. Black Ops 2 marks the third game where your starting weapon in zombies is a good old trusty M1911. Wait a minute, this has all happened before. One of many semi-automatic pistols in the game, this weapon cannot be purchased from the walls or found in the mystery box. On that same note, you cannot buy more ammo for the M1911. Only a max ammo can replenish your bullet supply. Still, even if you could buy more ammo, I don't think you'd want to. The M1911 becomes incredibly weak by round 4, and won't do you a whole lot of good. To be fair though, I haven't told the whole story. The M1911 can certainly help you along in your fight against the undead hordes. For starters, the magazine holds 8 rounds, and with a max ammo drop, you can potentially have 88 total bullets. The reload speed is also okay. Sure, it could be better, but it's nothing to sneeze at either. Considering you'll only ever use the M1911 in the early rounds, the reload speed is pretty much a non-factor in combat. Overall, I would describe this gun as the best early game moneymaker. Let me be clear, the M1911 struggled to kill a single zombie after round 2, but keep something in the back of your mind. Between round 1 and 4, you're bound to get a max ammo. In net, you should be working with something along the lines of 100 free rounds. The M1911 will earn you points, and it's free! No other weapon besides the basic melee can boast that. That goes without saying. Think of it this way, the M1911 is the catalyst that starts the mayhem. If you can maximize its potential, you will have yourself set with a lot of points. Once you reach round 5 though, don't even bother with the M1911. Buy something else. Anything else. I don't care what it is. Buy something. Moneymaker or not, the M1911 at a certain point is useless, and I say that's after round 5. I can think of only one reason to hold onto your starting pistol. Should you be deranged and decide you want to pack a punch the M1911, you'll get the Mustang and Sally. Few weapons change more from the base to the pack a punch version. For starters, the handguns are now dual wielded, but more noticeably you'll fire explosive grenades rather than bullets, and the explosions are very powerful. The Mustang and Sally functions much like it did back in Black Ops 1. I'm not crazy about this weapon overall though. My issue is with the explosions, or as some would call it, the kaboom boom. Kaboom? Kaboom boom! Weapons like the Mustang and Sally, the ray gun, or even Semtex and frag grenades can kill zombies quite effectively. I get that. But it's also very easy to accidentally damage yourself. Explosive weaponry comes with a huge risk, especially in later rounds you're more likely to kill yourself than the zombies. That's why I avoid the Mustang and Sally. Yes, they're powerful, but explosions can unfortunately send damage in the wrong direction. That concludes our time with the M1911 and Black Ops 2. To sum it all up, the base version is a free moneymaker that can make it to about round 4. The pack-a-punched Mustang and Sally is a completely different story. You'll get extreme power, but it can also be your demise. Join me next time, where we'll be covering the M27. Until then, this is Raging Amish, checking out.